now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, one of the alumni staff. This individual is a former two-time chair of the African Union, and it's an amazing work abroad that he's going to share with you all. I'd like to introduce Mr. Tyler Brent. Good evening, and welcome everyone to the YMCA Model United Nations Conference. <laughs> my name is Tyler Brand, and I'm here today to tell you about my year abroad in China, but more importantly, all the opportunities out there for high school students like yourselves to gain real-world experiences, to study abroad, and to engage in international exchange. It was not too long ago that I was a delegate from the Rinkokus Valley delegation, sitting nervously in these seats, listening to the speeches given. I'm so grateful to be back serving you as a college advisor because this program inspired me and gave me the confidence to pursue my dreams of studying and traveling abroad. During my senior year of high school, I found out about a program called the National Security Language Initiative for Youth, or NISLY Y, which is funded by the Department of State, which offers scholarships for high school students to study abroad for a summer, semester, or academic year. This program provides the learning of critical need languages that are not commonly taught in American high schools, such as Chinese, Arabic, Turkish, Russian, Farsi, Korean, and Hindi. I originally applied to study abroad for China um, in just the summer, but after finally convincing my parents, I changed my decision to apply for a year-long program, which turned out to be one of the best experiences of my life. I deferred my college acceptance and took a gap year to live in Shijiazhuang, China. For 10 months, I lived with a Chinese host family, studied the Chinese language and culture at a local high school, and met other exchange students from all over the world. It was incredible to be able to start anew in a totally new country, immerse myself in the Chinese culture, and be able to do some independent travel all over the country. It was not always easy, however, to be away from home for an entire year, but whenever I was missing home or overwhelmed by living in this new culture, I would always try to think of advice that I would be able to give that would be useful to students from back home, particularly the students of the YMCA Model United Nations Conference, because the students here share my passion for traveling and understanding the world around them. This is why I'm here today to encourage all of you to apply for these study abroad scholarships and to take a part in hosting exchange students, which will allow you to gain such unique and valuable experiences. Nisli Y is just one of the many programs out there that are fully funded high school, uh, for high school students to study abroad. Another program funded by the Department of State is the Kennedy Lugar Youth Exchange and Study, or YES, program. This provides scholarships for American students to study abroad in countries with a significant Muslim population, including countries in the Middle East, Europe, and Southeast Asia. The State Department also funds students to study abroad in Germany for an academic year through the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program, or CBYS. And these programs, you don't need to be a gap year student, you can do it during your high school term. For those of you who don't have the time to study abroad or are unable to, but are still interested in international exchange, I encourage you to look into the next best option. Every year, high school students from all over the world travel to the United States to study and stay with American families as host families. At MUN, your objective is to take on the viewpoints of a particular nation to learn more about the world around you. If you were to host an exchange student, it would take your global learning to a step further as you're able to learn from one of your peers from around the world um, to learn about their different backgrounds and opinions. After living with a host family in China for a year and an experience in Spain and Japan with a host family and also hosting a student from Germany as well, I can tell you this will create lifelong friendships and bonds with your new family member and you will get to see America in a new global context. My year in China with Miss Li Wai, like many other exchange programs, was facilitated by AFS Intercultural Programs. AFS began in 1914 at the American Field Service, a corps of volunteer medics and ambulance drivers who tended to the wounded during World War I and World War II. After seeing the devastation wrought by these two wars, the organization pledged to carry on its mission of volunteer service, working to promote peace and tolerance in the world through cultural exchange experiences. Currently, AFS is a volunteer-based organization that operates in all 50 states to send American high school students to 65 countries. It also invites students from all over the world to study in the United States and approximately hosts 2,800 exchange students and American host families every year. To date, there have been over 370,000 people that have gone abroad with AFS. And just some of the alumni include the former United States ambassador to the UN, 
the current director of the International Monetary Fund, a former president of Colombia, the late U.S. Ambassador to Libya, and the current Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. AFX Intercultural Programs is always looking for host families to welcome international students for both long and short-term stays. If you would like more information about hosting and exchange student, please feel free to contact me via email, ask me about it at a conference, or look to the AFS website at afsusa.org. If interested in hosting a student directly from a State Department sponsored program, you can look at exchanges.state.gov or hosting.state.gov for more information. A quote that I heard before traveling to China for the first time helped me to put everything that we do at Man and what international exchange embodies into perspective. American author and poet Maya Angelou once said, Perhaps travel cannot prevent bigotry, but by demonstrating that all peoples cry, laugh, eat, worry, and die, it can introduce the idea that if we try and understand each other, we may even become friends. Delegates and staff, enjoy the rest of your modern United Nations experience, and thank you very much for your time this evening.